Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, hi! My name is Natasha, and it's fantastic to have you here. For today's What Did I Find at Barnes & Noble, <laughs> we're going to be taking a look at the Pamela Coleman Smith's Rider Waite playing card deck. Unique 78 card deck combines tarot and playing cards. So this is published by US Game Systems and I believe I paid $22.99 for it or $21.99. I'm not quite sure. But as always, I will link where you can purchase this down in the description box below. I'm not, uh, I'm not sponsored and I'm not affiliated. Just want you to find what you're looking for and give credit to where credit's due. All right, on the side of the box here, it says this unique 78 card deck includes 22 major arcana and 52 minor arcana combined with their matching playing card indices and four knights which may be used as jokers this deck also includes a 56 page instruction booklet featuring two tarot games and a card meaning or excuse me and card meanings from rider weight tarot there's the back i love that the back is the three of cups it's so cute and fun and this is pretty tiny like that's the palm of my hand so this might be really good for those of you who like to take um, their decks for traveling or if you guys are still not um, out of the tarot closet yet this might be a good deck for that situation all right whoop get that plastic wrap off of there Okay, so there's the back. Beautiful. And real fast, let's just take a look at the little deck um, guidebook here just to see. Alrighty, so it says this deck includes the 78 cards, um, 54 cards of the Lesser Arcana also double as a playing card deck and feature the four tarot suits as the indices of the cards. I think I'm not pronouncing that correctly. Indices? Indices? Anyway, <laughs> the four suits are wands, which are the clubs, pentacles, which are the diamonds, cups, hearts, and swords are spades. The remaining four cards of the Lesser Arcana are the knights of each suit, which can be used as jokers when needed for gameplay. This deck can be enjoyed in many ways by tarot readers and card game players alike. To use the deck as a divination tool, this booklet includes short descriptions and traditional tarot meanings of each card. For those wishing to use the full deck to play a card game, this booklet includes rules for two games by Mary Kay Greer, The Game of Tarot and Tarot Rummy. For, tradi for traditional playing card games such as poker, hearts, spades, or gin rummy, simply remove the 22 major arcana depicted by the four different suits as the indices, as well as the knight of each suit, unless jokers or wild cards are needed for the game. Okay, and then there's the rules. Alrighty, more rules. And tarot rummy rules. And then we have the meanings of the arcana here. Okay, awesome. All right, let's flip through. So first of all, the card stock is, it's not terrible. It's a little thin, um, but think of it more along the lines of maybe like a, a regular card deck, like not even a bicycle card deck, but like just a regular card deck that you would have you know, playing card games. I'm not making any sense, but that's what I mean. Um, it's not too thick, but it is kind of thin. I'm not hating it yet. We'll see how it shuffles. All right, so here we go. So as you can see, we've got the numbers here. We've got the traditional imagery in the middle. So far, so good. It's maybe like a smidgen glossy, but not, I wouldn't call it a full gloss. Oh, well, let's just take a look a little bit more. I'm rushing ahead. Maybe we'll go a little quickly just because it's, you know, you're sit, you're, <laughs> I can't speak today your traditional Rider Waite imagery. I just wanna see how this works as far as the miners are concerned. Cause honestly, this would be a great travel deck. It's not terribly small to where it's going to be hard to shuffle 
and then you can still use it as a deck but you can also use it for other games as well i'm here for it so far it is you know it's a mini deck so the images aren't going to be that big on the card so um just keep that in mind if you are one that likes borderless decks this might not be for you but it makes sense in the concept of what this deck is all right here we go with the miners okay so it is just your average tarot deck just laid out a little differently i like this i am going really fast i know because this is your traditional rider weight smith deck but i'm really liking the concept and there's the ace we didn't have an ace for the wands did we or maybe we did i don't know i was going pretty fast so you have the pentacles The borders don't throw me at all. I really do like the inclusion of them. It kind of breaks it up so you can use this more for different games. And then two, this would be great, like if you are using it for other, um, like, you know, poker or whatnot, you can definitely incorporate the suits original tarot was definitely used on regular playing cards as well so this is a great combination of all of that i love this three of cups it's just so jubilant I think this would be a nice travel deck. I could see myself using this when I go on my various trips or when I go visit family, you know, on the after times. <laughs> so here's the Knights or the Jokers. That's great to see too. So yeah, you could totally do multiple games with these. I really like this. All right, let's shuffle. Okay, I really like how it shuffles for a mini deck. I'm able to rifle shuffle. I'm able to really feel confident with the fact that it is a mini deck, but I have a lot of dexterity with it i'm not feeling like i'm going to lose cards i'm feeling like this is going to be a substantial deck the the thin the thinness of the cardstock isn't really bothering me um i i think it is great because there are it is a smaller sh shaped deck so a thinner cardstock would work well with this just because it avoids all that awkwardness of trying to like shuffle it in a different way so I, I don't have an issue with the thinness of the cardstock because it's not terribly thin either, but it is thinner than I think a lot of you would like. And I do apologize with my dog barking if you can hear. All right, I think they're done barking. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and read for the um, Wheel of Fortune and see how that reads in the book here. So it is just little um, keywords here, which is fine, um, especially if you're going to be using this for a travel deck. Totally fine. So destiny, fortune, success, 
luck, felicity. And then we do have reverse uh, meaning too. We have increase, abundance, and superfluidity. All right. And I just want to peek through real fast to see if they do have any spreads just on that off chance. No, but there's a spot here for notes. So my personal opinion um, is, so my personal opinion with this is that it might not be the best for a beginner. However, I can see a beginner using this just fine, especially if you have other resources for deck meanings. Totally fine. Nothing wrong with using this deck at all. So if this is going to be your first deck, I do suggest having another resource to use alongside the decks for learning. This is the traditional imagery. So, I mean, you're going to be getting... Um, uh, the same imagery as you would if you got the traditional bigger deck. But with this too, it's great because you can use it for different games. You can actually use this to help um, people dip their toes into tarot if they're interested in um, learning divination or learning tarot. Um, this might be a great introduction deck because they can feel more at home if they're used to playing with regular um playing cards, it might help them to learn a little bit better that way too. So I mean, the the options here are really endless when you use them this way. And you can make the argument that you can use any tarot deck this way. And that's true too. But um, for the sake of argument here, the way that this is set up and the borders and the numbers and the symbols here I really do think it's great. I like it. It shuffles fine. I like the size and what a great gift. So let me know your thoughts on this. I think for something that I just picked up on a whim, I think this is really great. I think this is going to start being my travel deck because I really do like the size and I think um, this will work out beautifully for that. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. If this is something that you're excited about or a hard pass, I always love hearing your thoughts and opinions. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching and spending your time with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. That way you'll never miss an upload from me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.